that's Gardens by the Bay in the evening. And back to the flowers here at Sakura Matsuri. Oh my goodness. This is the self-driving bus or shuttle that I've been reading about. And it's finally here. How cool is that? In this vehicle, no drivers at all, just passengers. Yeah. This is called the Auto Rider. It rides from 10.30 to 9.30 p.m. And it brings you around this entire park. Cool. And <laughs> that looks like a happy face to me. Okay, let's find some time to sketch this. Alright guys, here comes the Auto Rider. See how it works. No driver or driverless. And the autonomous vehicle it comes with AC air condition, so that will really help on a hot afternoon. So I heard about this maybe about one and a half years ago, and then I was tracking it when they said it was about to launch. Apparently, there was no news about it. Oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> and now it's here. Okay, this one's gonna be a little difficult, but we'll try to find a really good angle for this. with us uh, Mr. Alan Quack. He's from Willis. He's gonna explain to us how this vehicle works. Yeah, yeah so basically this vehicle is a self uh, it's an autonomous vehicle. Yeah, yeah self-driving. So we uh, consist of a lot of uh, sensors. Uh, we have eight sensors, two 3D liners and uh, six uh, 2D liners. So they're mounted on the outside. So the vehicles move based on this, uh, the liners, the sensor sensing the surrounding uh, environment. Right. Before that, of course, you have to do the mapping uh, from origin to destination. So they need to know where they are going from the origin to the destinations. From there, then they use the GPS and uh, to the location so the vehicles and they move around. Yeah, and sensors is more to detect uh, obstacles, people moving in front of the vehicle so that they can stop the vehicle in time for the people to, to cross. Okay, so yeah. anything basic like uh, water, a pond or anything, that would be by the first mapping system, right? Yes, yeah. that's right. So they have to map the vehicle, the, the route, in fact, the, so they roughly know the environment, the trees, the buildings around it. Yeah, so based on the mapping, then they do a lot of uh, confusion of all this information together. 
and uh, plus the algorithms, then they can make the vehicles move uh, much more intelligently. Wow. Um, so, which means the more it travels, the better or the smarter it gets? Yes, it gets. Uh, I think they do some self training over time. Yeah. So, uh, of course, uh, the vehicles uh, over time to uh, get better, the, the technology will get better. Yeah. Okay, wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, does this run on electricity or how, how does it? Yeah. Yes, these vehicles uh, run 100% uh, on electric. Electricity, so it's an electric vehicle. How yeah. long does it take for one charge, and how long can it run for one charge? Yeah, uh, one full charge I think can run for about eight to nine hours. Yeah, for about almost a full day. So full charge about eight hours. I mean, it take eight hours to, to charge the vehicle. Yeah, six to eight hours. Yes. Yeah. Speed. How fast can it run? Okay. At this moment, we are in uh, Gardens by the Bay. We are running about eight to ten kilometers per hour. Uh, we can run up to fifteen kilometers per hour. Right, uh, the speed limit uh, of the vehicle I think is about 25 km per hour. But just uh, for safety purpose and because of the people uh, on the, in the garden, so we try to drive uh, slower a bit and also let them to enjoy the view while they drive uh, while we sit inside the vehicle. Okay, yeah. wow. <laughs> so this is the now of high tech traveling. Yes, it's happening yes, yes. right now, yeah. Yes, yes, it's in yeah. gardens by the bay, yes. <laughs> and then next maybe um, Chinese garden? In the Jurong Lake district, yeah. Jurong Lake District. Yes. See you there, maybe. Let's go ride one outside. Yeah. yeah. How awesome. That's Marina Bay Sands at night. And that over there is not a drone. I think it's uh, Venus. Let's check on the app. Yes, it is Venus right there. This is an AR planet guiding system where it tells you the constellations and the planets and the, what the, where the sun is, where the other planets, the stars, etc. Okay, so once again, this is on demand. There's no scheduled timing for these. So all I have to do is just scan this QR code. Okay, alert auto rider. And then I'm gonna scan this right now. It's my first time doing it, so. How cool is this? And uh, once again, it's 100% electric. My ride is here. The future is now, as mentioned. This is Elvin Mark putting out more art stuff in and out of Singapore. So tune in and be surprised. Until the next video, ciao ciao. First this and then the Tesla cars, what next? Is this it? Okay, thank you. Alright, that was cool. <laughs> it took a little bit longer than expected, but here we are.